It's 1974. You've got 60,000 people packed in a stadium. Over 100 countries watching worldwide in what is going to be the most phenomenal, cataclysmic fighting boxing showdown. In one corner, you have the world number one champion, George Foreman. And on the other corner, you have the former world number one champion, Muhammad Ali. The question we want to answer today is how is it in eight rounds the world number one champion lost to the underdog on the day, Muhammad Ali? And the second question you want to ask is how can we apply this to your multinational strategy in Africa? I'm going to take these off because if I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of this presentation, <laughs> you can imagine the complications I will face. George Foreman was the world number one champion. He was arrogant, he was big, he was strong, he was undefeated, and he knew it. He represents the multinational that has applied its strategies in Australia, in New York, in South America, and has been successful, and is coming to Africa for the first time and sees it as a piece of cake. Muhammad Ali was no longer the world number one champion. He was the former world number one champion. He was still arrogant. He was not as resourced and capable as George Foreman. He represents the multinational that is coming into Africa to fight for the same market share. Muhammad Ali coined the phrase, float like a butterfly, sting like a... It shows your age for some of you. <laughs> but he represents the multinational that is second best. But there's one thing that Muhammad Ali had. He had guts. The location of the fight was in a very unique place. It was smack bang right in the middle of Africa. In a, in a city called Kinshasa, in a country called Zaire, which is currently called the DRC. Both fighters had never ever fought in such an environment. The dynamics were unique, the people were unique, the atmosphere was unique. It was their first time to fight in that environment. The same things applies to a multinational growing into Africa. The dynamics are unique, the cultures are different. You need to understand that. To add or to spice up the fight, the then dictator of Zaire, a man by the name of Mobutu Sese Seko put aside 10 million US dollars in 1974 to sponsor the fight. How does this relate? In Africa, as much as there's opportunity, as there's challenge, there's also risk, and one has to remember that. There are two specific things I believe that made Muhammad Ali successful on that day. The first thing was this phrase, Ali Boumaye. I told you there were 60,000 people packed in the stadium and they were all screaming, Ali Boumaye, Ali Boumaye. What this means when translated is Ali kill him. Ali kill him. Why? You see, Muhammad Ali had come in a few weeks earlier than George Foreman. And what he did, he exercised and he trained and he ran the streets and won the hearts and the minds of the people of Kinshasa. He understood their dynamics, he understood their DNA. On the day of the fight, as Muhammad Ali stood up and went onto the ring, the whole stadium was screaming out, Ali Boumaye, Ali Boumaye. In other words, the underdog had become the number one support person. If you are coming into the African market, understand what drives the market, understand the DNA of the people and what is unique to them for you to have a successful multinational strategy into Africa. The second thing, was this technique called rope-a-dope. And it was specifically named after this fight because of Muhammad Ali. You see, Muhammad Ali knew pound for pound, fist for fist, there was no way he could take out George Foreman. He knew that this guy was bigger, he was younger, and the only thing that he had going on his side was that he had a big mouth. So what did Muhammad Ali do? For eight rounds, he changed his strategy. He became innovative. He began to dance around the ring. And every time George Foreman gave him a punch, he made sure he used the ropes to absorb, to absorb the punch. He did that for eight rounds, and George Foreman didn't change his strategy. He did the same thing, trying to get the right punch into Muhammad Ali, and he wasn't successful. After eight rounds, he was tired, and with a few final swoops, Muhammad Ali took him out. 
if you want to come into the African market, make sure your strategy is innovative. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa is open for business. The question is, is your strategy for Africa ready for Africa? Thank you. Thank you.